And I kind of thought, I really hope that there is a stage of life in which it forces me to pay more attention and that, and that I'm in love with the world again. I think you're in love with the world already. <laughs> you're just in love with the human beings in the world. Mm. But, um, and we, we count. You know, I think that this is one thing that we, a mistake we make um, often mm. is we think human beings, nature. Yeah. And never the twain shall meet. Like our whole, and, and there's a good reason for thinking that because, you know, for the entirety of human existence, we've been trying to beat that nature thing down yeah. and kill it and subdue it as much as we possibly can. But the truth is we are creatures. We are, we are made to be a part of this world as much as any possum or, or skunk wearing its grandmother's fur coat. You know, we belong here too. Yeah. And, and we, we forget that maybe because of air conditioning, maybe because of yeah. other things. We're busy. Um, the way we make our living is not by catching crickets, but we are just as earnestly in pursuit of that. But I think that we, it, it, helps, it will help always to reframe that relationship um, mm. and, and not to think of either the natural world or ourselves as other but to think of, of the two as belonging to one another. Mm. Um, I really think we have to make that shift somehow. We have to stop thinking of it as something separate from us, both because it's unfair and wrong, but also because it's going to kill us in the end. Mm. Like we, aren't, we, can't, we can't live without bees. We can't live without red wasps. We need them. They're pollinating our food. We do belong and yeah. they do belong to us. And, and, the, and, and I really think that, I mean, one thing I really hoped about the comfort of crows is that if I love something in front of somebody, maybe they'd be more apt to love it too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 